Hi everyone, welcome back to Workshop. This is just a very short video on a modification I've made to my Hako FA400 smoke absorber uh, that makes it work a lot better. I'm sure uh, a lot of you are using these units here and they're actually not that great unless the unit is right close up to the work in hand. Uh, if you put it at any distance like at the end of my uh, ESD mat here it don't really do much at all in pulling smoke through it. So I've managed to come up with a small modification uh, which makes it work a lot better. And here it is. I've uh, managed to 3D print a couple of flanges here that go onto some of this household uh, uh, bendy, tubey stuff here. I think it's 6 inch here. I've managed to 3D print a couple of the flanges there um, and I'll make the, the, the files available for download if you look up at here. There's uh, some photographs of the original units or renders of the original units there and I've managed to 3D print a couple of them uh, tie wrapped them on, there's no gluing involved, there's no drilling, no nothing just basically tie wrap it to the flange, both ends uh, this end's slightly different as you'll see because it's uh, basically got an L bracket there and I've weighted it down with some uh, um, weights that you s are available on eBay they're, I think they're used for uh, um, balancing alloy wheels or wheels, that sort of thing there but they're great because they're self-adhesive and I've just packed the back of it there to make it a little bit uh, heavier at this end here and the reason why it will become apparent Now the good thing about the Hako FA400 here is you don't have to modify this either because uh, there's a couple of um, little uh, protrusions here at the bo bottom and the top here, little plastic stick out bits there that hold the foam in place. So I've managed to size this here so that actually goes in behind the same clip so there is enough room. So I'll just attach it here and you'll see what I mean. So insert it at the bottom, insert it at the top, little press and that's it attached at the, at the hacko end there. So the idea is that I put the hacko FA400 at the back of the workbench there and of course I can move this around here it's weighted enough that it doesn't get pulled back stays wherever you put it and of course you can get that a lot closer to the job in hand whilst leaving this at the back of the workbench there and of course you can basically just collapse it right up off the uh, anti-static mat and it takes up very little space there so let's have a look and see how well it works so I'll just turn the unit on and I'll bring in the soldering iron and I'm about four inches away from the flange and I hope you can see that but it's just pulling it in no problem at all they're very little if any going beyond the flange i.e. not being pulled in I'll just bring it a little bit further away there I'm now about six inches away and it's just still pulling it in perfectly well and I can go a little bit off to the side here a little bit off this side here as well and most of it is getting pulled straight in so I hope you like that and if you want to put one together yourself I've made the 3D files available in various formats there'll be links down below to my website where you can download them and have fun thanks for watching